Welcome to A Better Day with Julie. I am so excited to share with you ladies my makeup artist that I've been ranting and crazy raving about, Gabby Raguso. Welcome her. She is lovely. She, you just have to, I'm, I'm going to share. I promise I'm going to share her today and I'll <laughs> even share her in other um, opportunities. But anyway, Gabby, welcome to our show. Thank We're you for so having excited me. to have you. And Gabby's actually going to talk to us about red today. And I know I'm a beauty expert and I know I'm a skincare expert and deals and steals and all that stuff. But I have been extremely nervous to wear actual red lipstick. I've done other red components but never a red lipstick. So Gabby's gonna share with us some great tips today to make us feel comfortable and more ease to get ready for the fall. So Gabby, let's get started. Okay, let's do it. All right. All right. So when you line, start in the center here on the bottom and the cupid's bow on the top. And then just connect the edges. You can lightly fill in a wider line, but not all the way to the center. And then come in with your lip color. Do I have to put a liner on? You don't have to, it does make it more crisp. But mm -hmm. like I said, with these, you can kind of do it all in one. Mm -hmm. But since we're adjusting the color, that's what the lip liner is doing for this particular look. And you can do the same with lip glosses. If you have a color that is just too dark, you can put a lighter or shimmery lip gloss over it to brighten it. Mm -hmm. If you have a color that's just too light, mm -hmm. open slightly. If you have a color that's just too light, you can put a deep gloss over it or a dark liner underneath it, and that will totally change the level of pigment that you're getting out of it. So that's your sheer version of red. So Gabby, can everybody wear red? Absolutely. I ask you that. I'm excited that you're wearing it now because okay. she normally doesn't let me put any on her. So what we used on her, I know there's a lot of versions and then we can get into more about why I have so many. Mm -hmm. What I used on you was a pure red lip liner. Okay. A creamy stick that's really easy to apply and gives a glossy finish. Okay. So that's the base. And then since I wanted to pop you a little bit more because you're wearing red, mm -hmm. we added a more pigmented MAC red lipstick. Awesome. So I kind of mixed in some steals and some splurges because I want everybody able to feel comfortable not only wearing it, but mm -hmm. buying it. So all of those things. And then we also brought um, a clear gloss. So if you really like this look and want a glossy finish, mm -hmm. this is something super easy. I like to do a clear because it doesn't change the mm -hmm. color since we focus so much on choosing the right color for your skin tone, mm -hmm. which is more of a warm golden tone with a slightly brown base. So the clear doesn't adjust it, it just adds that glossy look. For myself, I did a version of red, which is okay. more of a magenta pink, and I did a nude lip liner under it. So that's a way, if you're trying to get into it in baby steps, okay. you can do something more in a magenta or a brown um, that has kind of a red family, like it's a cousin of mm -hmm. red, and then that way you'll feel more comfortable to do these when it comes time for holiday parties. That, that's an interesting point that you made. So I know you use the lip gloss and the liner and the MAC Ruby Woo, I think it's called, Ruby something, something fun. Yes. Um, but I noticed you guys have, you have a pencil here that... The pencils are a lip liner lipstick all together. Really? Um, so it's nice and user friendly. You can do the edges and then fill in the center. Okay. Um, you could still do a gloss over it, but it is made to be a matte finish. And a trick too with the gloss, if you mm -hmm. open for me, if you get any gloss in the center, mm -hmm. is a good way to get mm -hmm. rid of it and you won't see it on your teeth later. Really? Yes. That is really, really good. So this pencil, I gotta go back to it because I'm getting excited about this lady. So. This pencil, this Bobbi Brown pencil that Bobbi Brown makes here, it has a liner. Mm -hmm. It has a, a um, liner lipstick, lipstick hybrid. Oh, it's a lipstick hybrid. Yes. This is the way to do it. Do you know the cost of this? I believe it is $28, and it comes with a sharpener that fits it, so you don't have to go look, searching for a large sharpener. Even better. Mm -hmm. So for those that are more lighter tone than myself, what is your recommendation to start with? You can do, if you want something, if you're golden toned but lighter, you could do mm -hmm. something more in the bright orangey family mm -hmm. or even this, because again, this is a red cousin, it's not a true red. Mm -hmm. If you're someone that wants that bold look and you don't know which side you fall in, cool or warm, you could do more of a true red. Not too much orange or pink in there and it's just gonna match everything you have and it should work on pretty much everyone's skin tone. Maybe not the very lightest or the very darkest, the majority of the spectrum should be covered. Awesome. Well, Gabby has given us some fantastic tips today, ladies, on going red. I think I'm gonna start with the hybrid 
because it'll be baby steps. But I can also win and still be awesome in red. So be sure to follow Gabby at Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We have her information um, actually on our website, as well as following me at Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We cannot wait to connect with you soon, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.